Kenneth, we need to talk. I don't know, because someone who actually cares about my feelings told me to smack you in the mouth. No, don't listen to Kenneth, toilet hole. Do you know him? Yeah, he's great. We should all go get dinner sometime. Kenneth, you can do this job, and I do respect you. Then wash my feet with your hair. No, but I did completely rewrite the show. We're not even using the word dingbat, Mr. Parcel. A Parcel man has never been called Mr. outside of an execution chamber. Oh, boy. <laughs> the blonde ones, they turned on me. They threw me away like I was some kind of Judy. Oh, God, is this how Judy felt? Judy was nice and sweet and wanted to get a coffee enema or something. And I treated her like garbage. Well, then why don't you apologize to her? She's right behind you. <gasps> Judy, you're so beautiful now. Oh. I just came to say goodbye before I head home. I wish we had spent more time together, but I guess I'll see you on TV. No. Of all my children, you're the only one that proves there's any good in me. Forget TV. Let's go get that coffee now. No, you know you can't do that. One minute to air, one minute. I have to stop Jenna from leaving. You just... No problem, I'll cover. Day two of my fast and you were right. My mind is clear and I'm sharp as a tack. Great, Trey, thanks. My brain is working overtime. I finally understand the ending of The Sixth Sense. Those names are the people who worked on the movie. Oh, yeah, and I just got what you were trying to tell me yesterday. You want me to do my filthy stand-up act instead of reading the cue cards. Jack, help! I was right about Kaylee, and I crushed her. That's great. I need... The whole time she was playing me, but in the end, she made the biggest mistake. She could not have been worse in that meeting than if she had wanted me to... Son of a dingbat! Trace is gonna do a stand-up act on the show. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna live bleep him. Normally, I'd have to get permission from my ring first. But there isn't time. You know why I love Dominican women? Because they love the those big Because they eat all that bacalao. I like to introduce a house in the boy. You just ate a with extra or so you called the right That's our show for tonight. See you next week! Hey, that was amazing! It sure was. Kenneth, I'm Gaylord Felcher. The head of standards? I have never seen bleeping like that. So guess what? I'm promoting you, you little face. All right, Felcher, you don't have to talk like that. Oh, well, who's gonna stop me? Who among you has the power to censor the censor? Whatever are you doing here, Kaylee Hooper? Enjoying my total lack of adult supervision. I just had fruit roll-ups for dinner at a strip club. You wanted to get expelled from school, didn't you? Look who figured it out. It only took you, oh, I don't know, a million hours. You didn't lie to me about getting sent to school in the middle of nowhere. What I realized too late is you were talking about Beekman Academy right here in Manhattan in the neighborhood north of Ware Street, otherwise known as uh, nowhere. Now I'll be able to be close to my boyfriend, Henry. Like hot Vicky could ever steal him from me. He's going to NYU to study acting. <coughs> if Pop Pop had gone to that meeting, he would have just written a check and made it all go away. You needed somebody to throw you under the bus. You needed a Patsy. I uh, couldn't help but notice that lacrosse ball in your backpack. Too bad I'm on the board of the Central Park Conservancy, so Beekman won't have a field to play on next year. Well, good, because I planted that lacrosse ball there to get back at a girl I hate who plays lacrosse. Her name is Jackie. Jackie. Office couch. Damn you, Donaghy. <laughs> Kato, seriously, not tonight. I made it this time. Ah! Son of a...